On the news tonight, Governor Saludo Head Saturday's sanitation exercise declares riot act on illegal dumping of refuse. Newly appointed CC chairman charged to be diligent. NECO decries indebtedness of states over SSCE examinations. U.S. passes a bill to ban all assault weapons. Before the news in detail, here is a special message. Governor Chukuma Saludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the animal economy and promotion of core evil values. Let us give him maximum support for the task ahead. A beautiful good evening to you and glad to have you join us on the news tonight. My name is Maureen Stone in Ujoke. Governor Chukuma Saludo has flagged off the last Saturday's monthly sanitation exercise in Anambra State. Government House correspondent Ejika Bana reports that Governor Saludo who performed the exercise at Ekoka Market. On arrival, Governor Soludo first performed drainage desilting. Speaking shortly after, Governor Soludo also flagged up the door-to-door -door debt collection exercise, asking Indian Ambra to embark the habit of clearing up their environment, including the drainage system, in front of their compounds, as it would make for a cleaner, greener, and healthier state. The governor emphasized that the state government is starting the monthly exercise again towards the journey of a cleaner, greener, planned and sustainable environment. In a vote of chance, chairman of the Koka market, Chief Jude Agumadu, appreciated the governor for commencing the exercise from the market, pledging to support him. <laughs> Deputy Governor Dr. Onyeka Ibezim, Chief of Staff to the Governor Mr. Ernest Ezaajui, Commissioner for Environment Mr. Felix Odmewu, the market populace among others, attended the event. Anambra House of Assembly confirms Transition Committee Chairman for the 21 local government areas in the state. Anambra State House of Assembly has confirmed the appointments of Transition Committee Chairman of the 21 local government areas in the state, and ABS House of Assembly correspondent Chukomeka Modelim has the details. The House confirmed their appointments during plenary in line with Section 208 of the Local Government Law as requested by Governor Chukuma Soludo. They will serve for a period of three months at the first instance. The Local Government Transition Committee Chairman are Prince Chibike of Obike, Agwata, Dr. Anselm Onwara, Anambra East, Mr. Felix Ikechi, Anambra West, Mr. Gerard Ozo, Anocha, Mr. Emmanuel Ucheze, Okanot, Mr. Tangod Aniago, Oka South, Chief Livinus Onyenwe, Ayamelum, Mr. Augustine Onyemobi, Dunukofia, Mr. James Obi, Ekusigo, Mr. Chooks, Brown Ibuanoa, Idemli North. Others are Mrs. Emakuleta Obi, Idemli South, Mr. Kinsele Obi, Ihiala, Mr. Clems Agui, Njikoka, Mr. Mbazulike, Iloka, Newi North. Mr. Ikenna Anyaboso, Newi South, Mr. Charles Ozoma, Onisha North, Mr. Emeka Oji, Onisha South, Engineer Ogotuku Ekweme, Orumba North, Chief Neville Uchendo, Orumba South, Mr. Emmanuel Mweke, Oyi, Mr. Chidebere Anyebuna, Obaro, 
In his remarks, the Speaker of the House, Right Honorable Ute Okafo, charged the local government transition committee chairman to work hard to attract dividends of democracy to their various local governments and read out their confirmation while the lawmakers supported it through voice vote. Those in support that the resolution at the committee of the whole forms a working tool of this honorable house say aye. 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 Those against say nay. The aye serve it. In a vote of thanks, the transition committee chairman of Orumba South Local Government Area, Chief Nevle Uchendo, expressed appreciation to Governor Chuku Masoludo and the House for finding him worthy to pilot the affairs of his local government, assuring that he will live up to expectations. Be all the glory. Our governor, Mr. Governor Chalewan Bakwa, Professor Chuku Masoludo have demystified governance. Similarly, the Transition Committee Chairman of Dunukofia Local Government Area, Mr. Augustine Chimobi, said he will work with Governor Soludo and the House to effect the desired change in the local government area. It's a very, very good welcome to the Lord because I know that uh, His Excellency that made me one of the Transition Chairman knows my capacity and knows what I can do. For the local government. From the State House of Assembly, Chukwe Mecca Modelim ABS News. Anambra State Commissioner of Police, Mr. Echeng Echeng, has commissioned a police outstation built by an Enuguku born philanthropist and chief executive officer of Rotec Energy Service Limited, Chief Austin Ogwejafo. The police outstation is situated at Anambra Luxury Place Estate. GRA Mkwelezunaka in Uyi local government area. Correspondent Emmanuel Chibota reports that Mr. Echeng received the keys to the facility from Chief Okwejofo in a ceremony held on Friday. The report. Human is by court for use of this station in the service of the people. In his address during the commissioning, Mr. Echeng, who spoke through the Deputy Commissioner of Police in charge of operations in the State Police Command, Mr. Aderemi Adeoye, said the edifice will enhance safety and security of residents in the estate and neighborhood. Mr. Echeng noted that it is rare to find estates like Luxury Place Estate with a provision of police station incorporated into the design and so commended Chief Ogwejo for, for the demonstration of the foresight. The police commissioner described the project as a step in the right direction and a progressive endeavor to enhance the safety of the people, assuring that carefully trained police personnel have been selected to use the station as a base and for watertight security for residents of the estate and nearby areas including Anambra International Passenger and Cargo Airport Umweri. Safety, welfare and security of the citizen is the cardinal purpose of government. Agency in internal security. As such, what we are doing here today is advancing the frontiers of our constitution as a pact between the people and the government. And we, as representatives of government, wish to assure you, all of you here, as representatives of the entire citizenry, that we will not abdicate that responsibility of protecting you at all times. Seven years today, we are handing over another police station to my family.
but uh, all visits we will see today and the commencement of the services of this place begins in earnest. So what can present all of you for coming? In a vote of thanks, the Police Public Relations Committee Zonal Chairman Sir Chris OKK assured that with the facility, the safety of life and property will be enhanced. One of the landlords in the estate, Mr. Kenneth Okoli, appreciated Chief Ogwejofo, saying that residents are now rest assured of adequate safety. The event attracted the Speaker of the State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Uche Okafo, and the Managing Director of Anambra Broadcasting Service, ABS, Sashido Obidiego. From Unkule Zunaka, this is Emmanuel Shibata reporting for ABS News. Human history has shown that people need each other to survive. And to this end, the United Nations General Assembly in 2011 declared 30th of July each year as International Day of Friendship with the idea that friendship between peoples, countries, cultures and individuals can inspire peace efforts and build bridges between communities. Correspondent Imani Okonkwo, who sampled people's opinion on the essence of the day, tells us more. The resolution places emphasis on involving young people as future leaders in community activities that include different cultures and promote international understanding and respect for diversity. Speaking on the essence of the day, a youth and an indigenous of Mbahu, Oka North Council Area, Mr. Chibu Zon Huben pointed out that life is worthless without good friends, saying that every human needs another to survive. Mr. Onukube, while describing betrayal as a normal experience in friendship, especially in today's world, noted that being betrayed in a relationship should not hinder one from making friends, as according to him, good friends still exist. I think uh, without, the wo without the word friendship, uh, mm. life will, will have no meaning, because uh, friendship defines what life is all about people around you, your loved ones, and these are the set of people who make up friendship, the loved ones, your family members, co-workers, these are environment opportunities where you build contacts, where you build a network of people who play a significant role in your life, one way or the other. In this aspect, they're talking about positive friendship, and not just... For Mr. Vincent Ezechuku, people should first examine people before moving into relationship to know if they possess good moral and character in order to avoid being misled and betrayed. And ourselves, as human beings, we need to interact, socialize with people. Among the people we socialize with, there are people that are very close to us, people we can confine and they discuss important matter which those are the people we call friends and these fr people we call friends we take them to heart be there for them and they will be there for us so there is need to actually protect the interests of your friends and they make yourself available for them whenever they need you that's what friendship is all about Another respondent, Mr. Gerard Chikezie, emphasized that friendship is two-sided, that a relationship which is not favorable to both parties involved is not worth it. He said friends should always be there for each other, even in hard times, and that there should be tolerance and forgiveness for the relationship to continue. At the start with friendship is a, a way of uh, getting acquainted with someone that you called your friend. Before you enter into a relationship with someone, you must look at certain the person character-wise, behavioral, behavioral uh, attitude and other things. Before you say that this is my somebody is your friend and you can vow for that person. You, can, you know in the world today, there are many things that are happening around and before you say actually that this is my friend, first of all you look at person character in other ways. So, and you cannot see, you don't call everybody uh, your friend. In Oka, I am Emmanuel Okonkwo, reporting for ABS News. Still to come on the news, NACO decries indebtedness of states over SSCE examinations. U.S. passes a bill to ban all assault weapons. And here is a special message. 
Nyanambra cannot allow criminal elements to hold the state and the people to ransom. Donate generously to the Anambra State Security Trust Fund, which has been set up to raise money for combating insecurity in the state. A commercial break beckons. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Traveling? You deserve the absolute best. Enjoy maximum comfort in our new buses with more legroom, like reclinable seats, onboard entertainment, and much more. Pick your preferred seat, choose your preferred shadow, travel on your terms. Ready for a premium ride driven by the best captains out there? Book now. Light up your day anywhere, even at home, with the rich, creamy taste of pure bliss. And glad to have you join us back. The National Examinations Council, NECO, has said that about five states owe it over two billion naira for conduct of senior secondary school certificate examination, SSCE. Registrar of NECO, Professor Ibrahim Dantani Mushishi, disclosed this while monitoring the ongoing SSCE in Lagos State. Professor Wushishi, who did not mention the five states involved, said the council is in constant touch with the affected states to meet the financial obligations of sponsoring candidates for the SSCE. The NECO boss commended President Mamadou Bari and Minister of Education Malam Adamu Adamu who ex for excluding the council from remitting 25% of its revenue to government coffers. The NECO registrar explained that he has repositioned the council in the last one year for effective service delivery and that results are showing with the performance of staff. The US House of Representatives has passed a bill that would, be ban that would ban assault weapons for the first time in decades in response to a series of mass shootings that shocked the country. The legislation was approved by a 217 to 213 votes in the Democratic Majority House. All but two Republicans voted against it, joined by a handful of Democrats. President Joe Biden held the House votes, saying the majority of the American people agree with this common sense action. The latest efforts at gun control follows two mass shootings in May that shocked the country. The shooting of 10 African Americans at a supermarket in Buffalo by a white super supremacist and the mother of 19 children and two teachers at a school in Uvald. In our sports, Quadri Arena led Nigeria to defeat South Africa in the men's team group two table tennis event at the Birmingham 2022 Commonwealth Games. Aruna and Olajide Omotayo picked up wins in the singles, while Amadi Ome and Omotayo won in the doubles. Against South Africa's Shauna Jones, Aruna triumphed in three straight sets, 11-6, 11-3, 12-10, with Omotayo replicating the first defeat against another South African, Chetan Natu, 11-9, 11-6, and 11-6. And in the men's doubles, both Omotayo and Ome beat South Africa's Theo Kogil and Nathu 3-0, 11-5, It was an outpour of tributes as the remains of a renowned accountant, Latif Emmanuel Iwebunam Mwao, were laid to rest in his country home, Uroji village, Nri, a not local government area. Late Chief Wangu, fondly, fondly known as Obiozo, who died at the age of 74, was an in-law to the family of former managing director of Anambra Broadcasting Service, ABS. Lady Chinwe Nedum, correspondent, Blessing Ochendu, has the details.
Ogbo, who was also said to have touched the lives of members of his family and community with his remarkable humility and love, left behind five children, five grandchildren, and many other relations. Speaking during the Reverend Mass at St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Ray, Reverend Father Johanna Sigo called on Christians to aim for eternity by leading a godly life and described the deceased as a man of strong character who had a humble beginning and whose dedicated services to God and humanity are worthy of emulation. Reverend Father Sigo noted that longevity is a reward for good deeds and that such moments call for self-retrospection and repentance. <laughs> Shortly after the interment, the first son of the deceased, Mr. Nam Dewago, and the first daughter, Mrs. Ijomo Biefuna, thanked those who came to commiserate with them and assured they would uphold the legacies of their late father, whom they described as a role model. Chief Emmanuel is a gentleman to the core, his extraordinary father, loving, kind and um, very generous and uh, yeah, just uh, marvelous we really miss him because he has really left the legacy behind well i'm happy that my father lived a fulfilled life and all i'm praying is that he still rest in peace that uh, one word he's a perfect gentleman there's no other word that can best describe him He's very calm, gentle, and very meek. On her part, Lady Chingwenedum described her late brother-in-law as a peaceful, easygoing, and good-hearted man who showed love to anyone who came in contact with him and prayed to God to rest his soul. A precious stone. He's been my in-law for the past 38 years. And he's been a wonderful relationship. He never raised his voice. And like his name, he will remember, he never went to bed in anger. Neither does the sun set in his anger. Wonderful human being. I miss him. I miss him. With their various condolences, the chairman of Catholic Men's Organization, CMO, of St. Joseph's Parish, Nri, Mr. Peter Ikago, Chief Pascal Okeko Reke, and Blessed Awo from Ebony State, among others, urged the children of the deceased to sustain the legacies of their late father and to always remain united. Prayers for the family and performance by members of the CMO, as well as condolences by friends and relatives, Climax the funeral ceremony from Nri, an Ocha Kansu area, blessing Uchenu, ABS News. Remember, you can follow news and programs on ABS from many parts of the world by liking our Facebook page at ABS Radio Television. Subscribe to our YouTube page at ABS Television. Okay? Follow us on Instagram at ABS Radio TV. Log on to our website www.absradiotv.com. And now a recap of the main points. Governor Soludo has headed the Saturday sanitation exercise and declared riot acts on illegal dumping of refuse. Newly appointed TC chairmen have been charged to be diligent. NECO has decried the indebtedness of states over SSCE examinations. U.S. has passed a bill to ban all assault weapons. 
And here is a special message before we go. Governor Chukuma Saludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra State economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let us give him maximum support for the task ahead. And that's it on the news for tonight. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Maureen Stone, Energy K. Good night and stay blessed.